Greetings, Wayne Hackman here, and this is my final instalment of my Raspberry Pi to PBX, um, well, experiment. And as you can see, I have the Raspberry Pi, it just has a power cable and an Ethernet cable, and my installation has been successful. Uh, previous videos will go through the process, but I just wanted to recap what I have done. Uh, I bought the, the Raspberry Pi, got a 64 gig card in it um, and um, also bought a case so it looked a little bit tidy. Um, I, I, through the configuration process I downloaded the Raspberry Pi recommended download um, and you can click on that and um, at the time I recommended downloading Wheezy. I downloaded that onto a 2 gig card that I had and ran that and, and it worked perfectly. I had, I had very little configurations, everything was on the screen. And bear in mind, and I, I'm a computer novelist, so once I'd tested the system work well, I then went to uh, raspberry-asterix.org, and there are these wonderful people out there that have created an image for um, of free PBX with Asterix, which is this phone server, which enables you to connect multiple IP, IP phones, um, enables you to connect to the trunks or to the lines that you want, want and you can have this really cool phone system which I, I have experimented with on a larger Dell machine but um, which made a lot of noise in my thing. So I downloaded the the latest image, um, I downloaded it, um, used the recommended method on the Raspberry Pi, uh, a piece of Windows software that enabled me to enlarge the image onto my 64 meg, plugged it in and it worked straight off the bat. Um, I had to do a little bit of configuration which comes up, um, changing uh, how much use of the SD card was being used, also some local settings, but once that was done, it, it, was, it was there, it just booted in um, as this sort of basic uh, version of uh, free PBX. And so as you can see now, I have, this is the, the server, it's running now, and that's basically this here. Um, um, I, it's got all my trunk set up, um, so you can see it's registered to four, uh, to, it has four trunks, three of them which are registered, there are three IP phones connected to this at the moment, all talking to each other. You can see the system's been up for about 14 hours without any troubles at all. Um, you can see that in, not in use, it's using one percent if I make um, if I dial a, a call it goes up to around 50% um, um, and it's got all of the modules and things that I downloaded and configured up and it's running beautifully on top of that I installed webmin um, and webmin is working well you can see that I am um, <coughs> only using 4.41 gigs um, of the the total 64 gigs available, um, so that can be useful for if I need to record calls or or voicemail storage and all of that stuff. Um, it's only using 142 megs of its onboard memory, uh, which is really really exciting, and and it just seems to be running as smoothly so far as it was on the the Dell machine that I'd got, which was basically a, a Core Duo machine. I'm really impressed with this, um, and the final thing is also it came straight out of the box um, so you can log in through putty or a terminal device uh, to bring up a shell and you can start configuring uh, the machine. So I'm really impressed that actually if you want a free PBX um, go to these guys at www.asterix Raspberry, sorry, www.raspberry-asterisk.org. Download the image and literally out of the box you've got a PBX machine. Um, I basically had to do a lot of other things. I had to take off the, uh, take a backup from my old machine and I reinitialized the backup on the PBX. So all my trunks, all my extensions. I basically then fixed the IP address of the old IP address of the machine. All of the phone extensions picked up. Um, it's connected um, to a an external domain as well, so I'm able to dial in using SIP phones all over the world. So I'm really pleased with this. It's very easy. Um, I'm a very simple novice when it comes to Linux, um, and I'm quite pleased that I've been able to do this. And if you are thinking about creating a Raspberry Pi PBX server, um, I would say go for it. I've now got a, a redundant machine downstairs that I can do with stuff. It's using less power. It's 
not as noisy. And as you can see, I can just tuck the PBX away behind my television there. Nobody is none the wiser that that is now controlling my entire phone system. And the other really cool thing is that when I get round of it, round to it, I'm gonna um, and can afford it. I'm going to buy another SD card, I'm going to buy another Raspberry Pi, I'm going to make an image of that Raspberry Pi, and I've got a backup. So should that fail at any time, I can just quickly get the other Raspberry Pi out and plug it in and put the new SD card in, and we will be good. I really appreciate it. I hope that you found this useful. I know it's a bit techy. Um, um, it is possible. Would love to answer any questions. I did have some complications doing the backups across the two of the two, um, but that's more down to... Uh, um, the free PBX administration. I'm not going to go into detail because there are lots of brilliant guides on the free PBX website um, that will help you. Um, but yeah, if you have been watching, I greatly appreciate it. Please rate, subscribe, comment, do all of the things that YouTubers do. And as always, have one on me.